What up, YouTube? Coming at you with another video. This time, we got the Smith & Wesson m and Shield 9mm Plus. This is a new offering from Smith & Wesson. It's kind of an upgrade to their original 9mm Shield, which held 7 and 8 rounds. I gotta tell you right off of the back, I'm very impressed with this gun. Let me take this magazine out. Come standard with one 10 round magazine. And we also got a 13 round magazine here. Let me show you what it looks like with the 13 round mag inserted. I can get a full grip. It feels real good. Show you with the 10 round. It's a little shorter, but surprisingly, I can still get my three fingers on it. Come standard with three dot night sights. Sights are metal, which is good. The weight on this is 20.2 ounces. The length is 6.1 inches. Width is 1.1 inch. Height, 4.6 inches. And it's a 3.1 inch barrel which is stainless steel with the Armonite finish. Let's go ahead and check that trigger. All right, the weapon is safe. Let's go ahead and check the trigger. Little creep right here. Solid wall, very smooth. That's it. This trigger feels amazing. Oh, that's amazing. So like I said, so far, I haven't shot this yet, but just the feel of this gun, I'm super, super impressed. The trigger is phenomenal, and it's definitely a 100% improvement from the uh, original um, Micro Compact Shield. Uh, there is some texture on the magazine release, which is good. I do believe the magazine release is uh, swappable. If you're a left-handed shooter, um, you know, like I said, the three dot night sights, they'll work for now. I'll definitely get some, uh, upgraded night sights eventually, uh, take down on this. It's pretty standard, uh, lock that back. You have this here and you just pull it and pull it forward. And that's really it. Uh, it is a metal guide rod. Like I said, the barrel, stainless steel, 3.1 inches with that Armonite finish. Um, I did go ahead and lube this up and clean it up a little bit because this is going to be uh, my new carry gun. But as far as the frame, um, this frame, the texture of the frame feels a lot different than the uh, original uh, M&P Shield. It, it feels stiffer. It's definitely a kind of rough textured. Um, I can definitely see if your hands are sweaty or bloody, it'll probably help a little bit. I mean, obviously blood is very, very slippery, but, um, the texture on this is phenomenal. Like I said, overall, this is, feels like a solid gun. It does have front serrations, which are, uh, pretty much non-usable, very slippery, but the rear serrations bite very well. Um, trigger is phenomenal. I'll get this trigger a 10 out of a 10, definitely compared to the uh, original shield trigger. So just wanted to make a quick video with this. This is going to be my new carry piece. I definitely think this is an improvement over the Glock 43X that I had. Um, it's def a definitely an improvement. This gun feels uh, 100 times better. I think it's a good thing that uh, Smith & Wesson finally listened and I think they hit a home run with this one. Thanks for watching the video. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and God bless.